Hi everyone, welcome again to Sapphire Makeup. Today I've got a little tutorial for you. I've got most of my face done, so I'm just going to show you how I did the one eye, and I'll zoom in so you can take a look. It's kind of a smoky eye with some blue greens and some lime green. I love it. Um, I was experimenting on a friend of mine and um, came up with this and she absolutely adored it and suggested that I do a tutorial so Melissa this one's for you so anyways let's get started so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take a matte black um, I have choose chosen to use cloudburst today cloudburst is very similar to um, char carbon um, but it's got a bit of glitter in it. I don't know if you can... Yeah, there you go. You can see it. It's got a bit of blue and green glitter in it. And I just kind of like it. Um, you can sort of see it on the eye when it's done. But I just... I like it because it's pretty to look at before you even get it on the eye. So I'm going to take this on a angled shader brush. Because I want to be able to get into the creases. But I don't want a really hard line. You want to be really careful and tap off all of the excess because if you don't, you'll end up with a lot of fallout. Um, of course, we can always go back and clean it up later on with a bit of foundation or some concealer. But the less cleaning up we have to do, the more true the look stays. So just be careful. But don't panic if you get a bit of fallout. It's not that big a deal. There. Okay, so there's the start of the look. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm taking Birds and Berries. This is a bluish green color that was with the Liberty of London collection, but really any bluish green will do. And I'm taking it on my dome shader brush, or sorry, dome blending brush. Tap it off, and right into the crease, right over top of that black that we left there, you're going to lay down the greenish blue. Okay, just like that. The next color that I'm taking is a lighter aqua or turquoise color. Um, I pulled out Blue Sorcery, which was a mineralized eyeshadow duo that came out at Christmas time. And I'm going to take that same blending brush and I'm just going to take it on, swirl it into the color, tap off, and we're going to take it over top of the blue green that's there and slightly above. So we're going to start bringing those colors upward. And you can take it all the way around the side. I'm not doing any sort of cat eye with this today, so don't feel afraid <laughs> to uh, go right over into the inner corner and all the way out doing a rainbow to the outer corner. And that's about all we're going to do with that color. The next one that I'm taking is actually a Smashbox color. And this one is called Zoom. And it's kind of like a golden olive green sort of color. It's got a bit of shimmer to it. And again, take it over top of where you have that blue-green already and bring it up a little higher. Okay. The final color that I'm taking as far as greens go is Sweet and Punchy. Now this was the Lime Green Frost, sorry, the Lux Pearl that came out. Oh wow, is that ever showing up nice on the camera? It came out with the uh, To The Beach collection, and again on that same shader brush that we've been using, tap off the excess, and we're going to take it right at the very top, not quite up to the eyebrow on the outside, but just to the eyebrow on the inner corner. And we're also going to bring that down, because you can see on the inside of this side we've got some lime green. We want the lime green on this side as well. Actually, it's even it out a little bit here. <laughs> okay, and then finally you're going to put down your highlight color. The highlight color that I have chosen to use today is called um, Daylight, and it's by Lancome, and I love when Lancome has their little gifts with purchase. Daylight is this one here, by the way. It's just a matte white, and I'm going to use this one right up top, just to kind of brighten up that under eyebrow area. Okay, and I've lost a little bit of my sweet and punchy, so with the brush that I had, just, there we go. 
Alright, so let's go back with that angled shader brush again, and we're just going to deepen and smoke out the black just a little bit more. Darken that up a bit. And then let's go back in with a little bit more of the birds and berries, because we've lost a little bit of the blue tone from this eye. So we're going to take a little bit more. And there we go. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a black eyeliner. I have Feline by MAC. It's actually the only black eyeliner that I have left right now because it seems that I ran out. <laughs> So we're just going to do the waterline all the way in to the center of there. Okay. Waterline's done. And then just line the top lid as well. Because as much as we try, it's really hard to get the black all the way down, like the black eyeshadow, all the way down next to the lash line. And then for the other colors on the bottom here, because you see on this side I've got some blue, I took the uh, Birds and Berries. I'm going to take just a little tiny liner brush. It is so cute. It's by uh, Eco Tools as well. And I'm just going to line about three quarters of the way over. Okay, and I'm gonna, it's gonna be a little bit wider over here because I want it to kind of meet up with the other colors that are coming down to form that natural curve there. Do you see how smoky that looks now? Oh, I love this look. Alright, and then finally, take some of that acid green, some of that sweet and punchy, right in the center, blend it out. Perfect. Okay. So, and now for lips. We are so out of time, but whatever, I'll just edit. On to lips. I'm taking Fuchsia Lip Pencil by NYX. Mm. Alright, and on to lips. I'm taking Fuchsia Lip Pencil by NYX, and I'm just going to line the outer edge. And for the lipstick, I am taking Petals and Peacocks. It was also from the Liberty of London collection. And it's just a really bright, bright pink. And this Fuchsia lip pencil matches it so perfectly. Oh. And there you have it. There's the finalized look with the lipstick on. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you learned something today. And stay tuned for more tutorials. I've got a few more coming up. I will see you next time. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you!